Okay guys, here it is. The gear's finished. I uh, just glued in the wheel wells last night. So now they're they're hard mounted, uh, part of the fuselage instead of just being temporarily put in. Uh, the A-arm and the drag brace, which is the lower part of the strut there, going over the door. Uh, I'm still looking to replace those with some aluminum parts that are due in next week, but right now I have some special glass beaded fiberglass parts, uh, uh, multi-fusion jet plastic PA-12 glass beaded in, in there right now, uh, which I think will be strong enough to fly with, but uh, I've also ordered aluminum pieces, but uh, here we go, here's the operation. This has been a lot of work. Shot from the side here, a little bit of angle. The fiddle factor on getting these retracts all aligned and just right has been, oh, out. It's been beyond. On a scale of 1 to 10, it's about a 20. But, I finally got it working. I am using a special programmable sequencer you can get on eBay so that I can kind of give this staggered look there and control the uh, different timing with, with the way the gear comes up and it draws them in at different rates. They're uh, pretty nice. I've been using them for the better part of the last two years. Um, definitely recommend them, but you do have to program them and kind of write a little code for them. See if we can step back here a little bit. But I finally got all my delays and the sequencing kind of set the way I like it. And I got the nose in this last two weeks. So now we have the, no the nose gear door in. It looks like we still need to tweak a little bit of the pull on here so it closes. Not much worried about that because in the water, the water pressure will actually push it closed. It's a wet well anyway. One more time. And thanks to Tom Hunt for designing this. It has been, it has been a lot of fun. A lot of work, a lot of tinker factor, a lot of ripping it back out and gluing it back in to get it all aligned just right, but well worth it. You'll notice I probably got all his 3D parts on here. The engine nacelles. Uh, I used instead of the other ones I had earlier for this airplane anyway um, the larger uh, scale like spinners which I like a lot better than the smaller ones they've actually got uh, three millimeter <coughs> coils inside of them so that there's no need for a screw so they're actually tapped and threaded with brass inserts uh, the nose wheel as said I did use a different nose wheel the other one is really nice too but I kind of like the looks of these uh, slightly larger foam ones that are available from Hobby King very nice looking gear very well designed Tom Hunt just knocked himself out on this one I love it, and I'm actually doing one more airplane, a Coast Guard one, uh, like this. And uh, I've been waiting to do this for, you know, the better part of 20 years. I've had one before, but it didn't have gear quite like this. It was Spring Air, old GMP sales, and this thing has been a ball. I posted earlier some pictures of what the internal fuselage looks like. Uh, I may come back later and actually cut those windows out now that I know that what's behind them and install real windows and lights inside the fuselage. Um, so anyway, now one more time of the gear in operation from a dead-on shot. It's got that staggered hydraulic look and I've already taxed, I've already had this out with propellers on it. Um, haven't had the vertical stale on it yet, I'm still modifying it and the wings because I am working on a long wing version on it so I'm making some plugs slugs that go on the side there 
but hope everybody enjoys and has fun with theirs this has been my dream plane for many years again tom thanks for all your all your design efforts on this you're the man talk to you guys later have fun on groups i'll see you there